I'm Eric, and at the age of 40, I walked away from a corporate desk job with all the benefits you could ever ask for and decided to roll the dice, bet on myself, and start a resale company. I buy storage lockers. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's signed. I go to live auctions. $30, I go on private picks. Quite a bit of stuff. Um... And so much more. So come along for the ride as I build this resale company from the ground up. And now, let's get to another episode of Reliable Resellers. So we just packed the car. There's all kinds of, there's all kind of different stuff in here. There's um, 40, 50 different uh, Tyco trains, uh, brand new still in the box, a whole bunch of train accessories, tracks, the little houses that go with them. There's all kinds of Hot Wheels and NASCAR stuff in here. There's a Nintendo back there, a PlayStation 1, a PlayStation 2, a Nintendo Wii. Uh, let's see, there's vinyl records. Uh, you know, there's some, there's some Black Sabbath. There's some Aerosmith back there. There's a couple of boxes in there have some uh, dime, 15 cent Superman comic books. There's some pretty good stuff in here. Um, it's gonna take a while to go through it, so. Let's go home, we'll get this unpacked, and we'll kind of go through this stuff box by box. Um, hey, my name is Eric, I'm from ReliableResellers.net, and thanks a lot for coming back to another video. Today is Friday, uh, July, <laughs> July 15th. Um, we did not go to garage sales this morning. There weren't a whole lot to go to. There were a couple of them that were on the apps, but they were a good half hour, 45 minute drive away. Didn't feel like going all the way out there. I had to do some filming this morning for a commercial I'm shooting for the podcast for a, a business owner. And I had this private pick to go on in the afternoon. So I just wasn't in some big rush <laughs> to wake up this morning and drive 45 minutes to one random garage sale halfway across town. So we put it off. We didn't go to garage sales, but it worked out because <laughs> the car is packed and there's all kinds of stuff in here. So let me get driving home and uh, unload this stuff and we'll go through it together. Uh, so let's go. All right, made it home and I just noticed something. So before, uh, before we open the doors here, look at, this, look at my antenna, look at this. <laughs> this is what I get for being lazy. Um, I took my car through a car <laughs> wash and um, apparently my antenna now is toast. So that's what I get for being lazy and not spending 20 minutes to wash my car. It's just so damn hot outside. So I figured one time I'll take it through a car wash and uh, my antenna is no more. <laughs> anyway, um, so here is what we have in the back of the car. So as you can see, some vinyl records. We got some 45s. Um, we got 33s. Some, some decent stuff in here. We'll go through them. Um, video game systems. There's the P. There's a PS1. There's, uh, there's a PS2 right here. The Nintendo right here. In this box right here is full of games full of nintendo games and uh, ps1 ps2 there's a ps2 around here somewhere as well um and there's a wii right, right there and then there's guitar hero uh, for the uh, for the for the uh, wii there's a gun for the wii i think and then um just a bunch of other stuff uh trains and and um a lot a lot a lot of stuff so um we're just gonna start unloading it um there's a lot of like sort of mystery boxes sort of i i peeked at them uh there's some really old comic books there's some really um just a lot of really old stuff so let me just kind of start pulling this stuff out um and there's a lot of it so we'll just start going through some stuff box by box and show you guys what we bought so let's do this
All right, so here's all the different gaming systems that we just bought. So we bought, so here is, here's a Nintendo. Just got a couple of uh, magazines, there's an old Nintendo Power. So here obviously is a Wii. Chucks look like they might be brand new. Uh, some Wii, all the Wii accessories. Do, 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 do. Controller. All right, now in this box, there's Wii Sports. There's all games. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think there's anything super great. Double Dragon 2, Super Mario Bros. 2, Bros. 3, Tiny Toons, Zelda, Final Fantasy, Mission Impossible, Monster in My Pocket, Spot, and there's Kirby Adventures. Here's a couple of loose ones. Just RBI Baseball, Hubert, Dr. Mario, and Original Mario and Duck Hunt. Hey, okay. and then these are just all PS2 games here. All these are. I don't think there's anything special in here. I'm just gonna flip them over and just show you, give you a bird's eye view of what's there. Turn it here. Uh, there's like your Guitar Heroes, so nothing super special. If anything jumps out at you, let me know. Um, I don't see anything in here that's crazy. Perfect auction house stuff. Um, and then in these bags, so here is your Guitar Hero um, guitar. This little gun here, I'm not sure what this is. I don't exactly know what it goes to. I think the Wii. Then in this bag here, you've got all of your controllers for the Nintendo. Uh, there's the gun for the Nintendo. Uh, and then all the cables. I don't want to take them all out. And here is the PS1. And then here, right here, is a PS2 controller. Uh, and all of that so there's the gaming systems all right so here's a box that's really quite interesting so there's some um some books and some comic books in here these right here are um uh, just never mind the price tags on them the big little book i mean some of these are uh you know they the people are lotting them up and selling them for you know a couple hundred bucks for the lot so uh, you know i'll have to look them up and see the really interesting part so far of what i've found in this box are these comics right here i mean check these out um 15 cent world's finest comics number three superman batman robin Right there, Superman number 23, 10 cent book, and then there's a Superman, now oh, it's ripped up here, there's a Superman 10 cent book, that's cool, let me put them back in this plastic here, alright, two more boxes here, not really sure, and then, uh, let's see, Elvis Stamps. Yeah, looks like Elvis Stamps. Uh, 
Oh no, it's all sealed. Okay, mm -hmm. and there's some Elvis stamps in there for sure. It's uh, still new, so, okay. Cool. Vision? What's that? Oh, it's a book. Okay. Alright. Some playing cards. Magic cards. Ooh. TV magic cards. Alright. There is a book, uh, Treasure Island. Let's see not sure why they have it in this. I wonder if this is a high value book. Maybe this is a first edition or something. I'm not sure. I'll set them aside, look them up later. Just keep looking. What is this? There is a starter jersey. Looks like a Dan Marino. Yeah. God, this thing is huge. What size is this? 48L. Okay. Well, really nice. I mean, it's nice, but it's friggin' huge. Starter uh, authentic apparel. Starter jersey. Okay. Cool. What else do we have in this box? 1942. Right. 40 United Stamps. Dude, this is all new. Okay. Oh, that's gonna fall. States stamps. Oh, I got a thing of stamps. And here's a bunch of stamps. Interesting. Okay. I don't know a whole lot about stamps. What's this right here on top? Oh, hey. This is the old, uh, these handheld games, football games. I wonder if it works. There's no batteries in it, obviously. Oh. Jeez, that's in really good looking shape. It's not beat up at all. I bet you if I put batteries in it, I bet you'd work. Looks like it would anyway. And it has the instructions. Nice. Okay, what is this? Uh, so... Okay, it's in there. Cool. What is this? Linden, Japan. Sure. Okay, it's a clock. Comes huh, out. Case made in Japan. It says Japan right there. Huh. No idea. I look that up too. It says Linden Alarm. This little thing here, box. Okay. Could be good, I guess. Here is a Viewmaster. Here is a Viewmaster. Any reels? Hey, there's some reels in there too. That could be really good. New York City, oh, it's just uh, da, 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 Miami, Florida. Yeah, this looks like places. Oh, Hansel and Gretel, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, there's one. Oh, 
there? So there might be a, I don't know, we'll see. Doesn't look like anything super spectacular, but maybe there's some other Viewmaster stuff in here. See, and there's two Viewmasters with the boxes. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Here is a book of stamps. Are there any stamps in it? Yeah, there are some, I guess. I have no idea if stamps are what the market is for stamps. Usually people say, oh, the market's, market's down. I have no idea. Another big book. Doesn't, there's a few in there. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot. There's a couple there. So, uh, who knows what else is in here. Just a random book. Um, do, 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 do not bend. What is this? Uh, there's an Elvis coin right there. <laughs> there's another one. There's two Elvis coins. Uh, what is this? Why do they have this wrapped up like this? Hong Kong trading. Uh, let me see what's in here. All right, so I got them out of here. Um, I, I don't, there's there's nothing in these. There's just, em they're empty. So maybe it has something to do with the stamps that are on them. Maybe it's the stamps. I mean, it has to be because these are just empty envelopes. And then you have these two here. Like those are kind of cool, I guess. Kind of like that one in blue. And then that one in red. Again, they're just empty envelopes with this on it. So maybe that's what it was. Not really sure. Cool, though. All right, let me put them back in here, and then we'll see what's in these, uh, or what's in this last little bit here. All right, guys, I did go ahead and peek in here. It, it's just, there's a letter, and it's just like, you know, a, a fan club or something. More, you know, stamps or something here. Um... And then there's this little bag here of stamps. Not sure. Did not look at this though, so let's take a look. Um, a keepsake for the ages. Looks like in here, one for the book. And then inside the book is this little bag. It's unopened. No, it is opened, and it's just some more random stamps. Okay. Well, cool. I mean, that's not a bad way to start here. That's a nice first box, um, or second box. That's actually a, a nice second box. First box was nice too. Um, okay, let's see what's in that one. I'm gonna put all this stuff here away. I just dropped those on the floor. All right, next box here. Looks like toys, Star Wars stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Plush. Some football. There is a Power Rangers Viewmaster. Interesting. Some more Viewmaster stuff. There is a Hot Wheel. A couple of these. Six of those. Uh, Burger King. It says Burger King in there. Okay. Burger King. So Sonic the Hedgehog. Little toy. Underground. Oh, it says Denny's on it right there. Okay. So maybe these are going to be, this is Burger King, okay, uh, yep, there's a McDonald's toy, Beanie Baby, oh, it's been opened, alright, 
let's just see what else we got. Some other hot wheels, Mr. Potato Head. Um, Star Wars stamp. Uh, from 1997. It's probably not worth much. Toy Story. Yeah, Pokemon comics. So, set those aside. That could be good. Oh, what's in this box? <coughs> All different types of Pez. Okay. Bunch of different Pez. Are, uh, are Pez valuable? You guys know anything about Pez? Are any of these guys valuable at all? I think it's all Pez dispensers. This is a whole box of Pez dispensers. I have no idea. 1998. So, I don't know. It's a Power Rangers watch. Kind of cool. Super Mario guy here. 1989. Just a little, little dude. Okay, there's a whole box of some mostly Pez. And then this looks like mostly. Hey, there's some uh, V Masters. Okay, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, I bet that goes. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of probably goes with those. Happy Meal Toys, Burger King Toys, Nickelodeon, what is that? I don't know. Kids Choice Awards, 1999, okay. Rugrats. <coughs> Uh-oh. He had some Hooters magazines hidden on the bottom. Bottom down here. Here is a Hooters and Sports. The newspaper, I guess. Back whenever this used to be a thing, I guess. Huh. Okay. All right, well, somebody might want that. Let's see. Take that out to the auction house. Somebody might want it. What is this? Duking it out. This is from 1997. Um, okay. And the rest of it is just Happy Meal Toys, Burger King Toys. Okay, cool. So that's what's in this box. Let's keep on going. All right, guys, so that's going to be a wrap on today's video. We have a lot more boxes to go through, but there's so much more. It's going to take a lot more time. And I think this video is already going to be pushing close to 30 minutes and I don't want it to be, you know, an hour long. So we've already found some really good stuff. Um, those comic books, I've already submitted those. Well, I have paid the money to submit them over to CGC. So we're going to send those three books out to get them graded. Um, there's one book that the world's finest comics, uh, number 23, that one, has the potential to really be worth some big bucks. Um, unfortunately, there is a page or two on the inside that have been ripped out. I don't know what that means. I've never had a comic book graded before. Um, but there was a three that you guys seen earlier in this video, um, a CGC three 
that sold for $6,600. Now I have no idea, the cover of mine looks a lot better and the back cover of mine looks a lot better than that one, but I'm not sure with the page or two or whatever it is ripped out on the inside, if that's gonna bump it below a three. So I'm not sure. I have my fingers crossed. I'm hoping it comes back a three. <laughs> I hope it comes back way higher, but if it comes back at least a three, and that's almost a $7,000 comic book. That's a huge score. And I don't know if I told you guys this. So we paid 600 bucks for that full car load full of stuff. So for all of it, um, there's still um, a lot of vintage baseball cards to go through. There's some junk wax era cards in one of those boxes, but there's some baseball cards and football cards from the 70s in there too. So who knows, right? Um, there's still so much more. We didn't even touch the trains yet. <laughs> um, so anyway, we found some really good stuff so far. Um, I'm 100% positive we'll make all of our money back on this deal and then some. Those other two comic books, uh, the, the one, there's two other Superman comic books. One of them has a small rip on the top. That one probably won't grade very high, but I found one just like it that graded a 0.5. So a CGC 0.5 sold for, uh, um, they were asking, I believe it was $775 and they took a best offer. So maybe they took, you know, 600 bucks or 700 bucks or so. But anyway, so that one comic book could pay for the whole deal. And then everything else is just, you know, uh, the icing on the cake, the icing on top. So really good deal for us here. Um, and then all the other stuff, a lot of the little smaller stuff um, is just perfect auction house stuff. So that is fantastic, fantastic. Anyway, that's all I got for you in this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff down below if you want to. And come back tomorrow. We'll do something else. We'll go through the rest of the boxes and just see what else we have. So uh, come back tomorrow. We'll do it then. Bye, y'all.